Should you choose to use them, these are your weapons for today's tutorial. Choose wisely for it may affect the outcome of this makeup tutorial. Hi friends, I know I'm being a bit dramatic and very silly, but this video is all about which is best, whether the sponge application for foundation or the brush application for foundation is the best on mature skin. And I'm going to let you guys decide that. When you get into this video, you're going to see that my eyes are already done with my brows and everything else we're going to do together, except for later on, I skip over the lips. I know that personally, I was forever in the sponge application. I didn't like the brush. Now I use the brush quite often. I switch off. It really kind of depends on which makeup I'm using, what time of year it is, that kind of thing. We're just going to go through both applications. And I know this video is quite a bit longer, but I do have a new technique in here that I haven't normally done with you guys because I just learned it myself. So Go ahead and make sure that you watch all the way through. Also, there is a very special surprise in the middle of this video, so I hope that you do enjoy that too. Let's get into this video so you can see which is better or you can decide for yourself which is better, the makeup sponge or the makeup brush for applying foundation. So let's get into it. Okay, before you can start putting on foundation, you have to think about what your skincare has been. You also have to think about doing a really good exfoliation because if you have any sort of texture at all, or if you have large pores or anything like that, it's going to make a difference. And I have to tell you, I got sent this Kate Somerville Exfolicate and I had never tried this before. It, this is really something. It's very different than any exfoliator that I've ever used. It smells like it has has cloves in it um, and the little grains or the little granules that are in here are extremely fine so it's like a polish almost a buffing type uh, feeling on your skin and I really really like it it says that it's an intensive exfoliating treatment it absolutely is if you have very sensitive skin do not get this but if you're somebody that does like a good exfoliation this is amazing I was just so ugh, I was blown away by that and I hadn't tried it on purpose because I thought it was too expensive but a little bit goes a long way. Now I'm going to say this and you guys that have been with me anytime at all know that this product is my holy grail for moisture on my face. This is an essence or a toner from the brand called Sukoyaka Suhara off of Amazon and this is their urea lotion or essence. You can tell by the bottle there, it's very watery. This is what I use for a super charged hyper moisturizer that's going to last all day. My skin's gonna feel tacky. I am going to have that moisture bounce in my skin. I use their eye cream and I use this every single day to make my foundation look really good. Now in lieu of that, if you de if you decide that you really don't wanna do that but you need some lighter possibly moisture along with your spf i would definitely recommend the dermatology tinted moisture spf 46 universal tint this is anti-aging and it's a broad spectrum they do have another one that they just came out with now that is a completely uh, physical spf and i would highly recommend that one too um this one i've been using up after i just used that one that they actually sent me but this one i purchased myself because I love the other one so much and I wanted to try it. Normally my whole video would revolve around very affordable products and I do pride myself on that. So I'm going to give you alternatives to these things as we go through them. But this is the Porefessional from Benefit. This is their hydrating primer. That's what I'm gonna use for my primer today. I love this. I think it's fantastic. By the way, I'm having a shaky day from you know where. And so my hands are just going nuts today. My anxiety, I don't know why, but it's through the roof. So we are just going to work with it and try to deal the best that we can today. And being very careful to put it on the places where I have the largest pores and lines. I'm going to stay away from out from underneath my eyes until I almost have none on. And then I'll just press a little bit in to that area and look who's gonna come in here for a cameo I don't know why this little dog thinks that every single time that I get over here and I start talking that I'm talking to him instead of talking to the camera but he does and he is so sleepy and needs a nap but now that I'm over here he's like no mom I need to be next to you all right now that Ollie's made his appearance we are going to do the sponge on this side and I'm using the eco tools this is the plant me meaning that this will completely biodegrade 
in the ground which i think is fantastic that they finally come up with one of these and this is so soft it is very well loved very soft i love the angles of it it's got some great angles on there to be able to get into different parts of your face and then i'm going to be using this is from elf cosmetics this is their precisely something precise pro i don't remember but it's an angled brush for foundation and i'm going to be using that foundation that i chose today is from fenty beauty this is her ease drops i love these so much i'm going to use the brush on this side and then i'll use the sponge on this side so i always start off with putting a little bit of this on the back of my hand this one is a little bit harder to gauge i will show you the consistency of this it is quite runny, so it's definitely a liquid, but it's not fluid. That hope that makes sense to you. Max Fix Plus is going to be sprayed on the brush. I'm going to take, this is harder for me because I have a little teeny viewfinder over here and then nothing over here to be able to apply this. So I'm going to probably have to grab a mirror from somewhere. Oh, we are just going to go ahead and stipple this on. I don't like to brush across because then you're moving around your front your primer and i'm going to try and stay out of those eyebrows that i've already done as well it's a little bit harder to do but we're going to try i'm also going to stay away from my under eyes today because even though i normally don't wear concealer i am going to wear a little bit of concealer today i have a little tip that i picked up from painted by spencer i think that's his channel name anyway i was watching that and i was watching him do this area right here and i was so intrigued at what he did with this super light concealer right in there in that crevice right there where it gets so dark all right i don't know if you can see this or not but right around here is where my problem area is for my foundation so i'm going to go in here probably a couple times actually with a little bit extra Nothing is key with a brush this a brush will afford you to be able to put more on at once so that is the nice thing about a brush let me tell you what else a brush can do a brush can besides depositing your foundation quicker it can give you more of an even look unless you blend a lot with your beauty blender and that's really the key in any product we use or any tool that we use we have to use a lot of blending especially if you want that overall just look of flawless finish that kind of thing this foundation just so you know i guess i could review that while we're doing this this foundation is thin it has a medium coverage which i feel like can be built up to medium full i won't get a full coverage out of this which is okay because i do like it to be a little bit more natural looking on my skin right now this foundation has got to be one of my favorites once i discovered it i just want to keep using it until i use up this bottle because it's just that good but with the brush you can see that i'm never you know pulling it across my skin like this you can get some micro exfoliating going on with the brush so if you have very sensitive skin say you have psoriasis or dry patches a brush will probably not be your best friend because those dry patches it could possibly exfoliate and rough up your skin if you have normally dry skin anyway it could possibly do that make your foundation look different so you might want to stick towards the sponge okay i'm going to spray this sponge with one pump of fix plus and then i'm going to go ahead and use that foundation on the other side what's beautiful about a makeup sponge for a mature woman is that she you me you i she <laughs> will be able to get more of a a really natural look on your skin now you can pick up everything that's on your hand if you want to you don't have to but you could pick up everything and it's not going to look heavy now this is just going to be bounced again i'm not going to you know go across my skin and pull it across my skin it just looks better when it's bounced in what i find about this particular foundation and the sponge is i almost like it better with this sponge because it does work it into the skin so nicely and so quickly i'm just really surprised at how quick this works into my skin all right what's absolutely beautiful about using the sponge is it has pressed that into my skin so nicely I don't feel like my pores are showing up as much as this side. I go back and forth to tell you the honest truth. If I want was doing my foundation with this brush and not doing it for you for demonstration purposes, I would go back over with this and I would completely press this foundation and pick up every single
single bit of extra I could with the sponge. That's another thing. If I do push this in and if I do work this in on this side, if you don't like to wear a lot of powder, you don't have to because this sponge is going to take up any excess and you won't have to put on any powder. Now the side with the foundation with the brush, I probably will have to put a light dusting of powder across there. I'm okay with that. And I love when you do your sponge that it just gives this beautiful, perfectly smooth canvas. I just think it's so great. Right now I'm working on using up the Tarte CC Color Corrector. I like this. It's okay. It's not my favorite. This one is in light medium. Um, this is very emollient, which is fine. It's not the greatest corrector. I will, I will just say that, but it is good if you have super duper dry under eyes because it's very emollient. And I think that's the trade-off. That's why I like Pixi so well, is it's not too emollient. It's not too dry. The Pixi color corrector is the be all and the end all to me. It's fantastic, but I am trying to use this one up. So I'm going to go underneath my eyes to try and color correct just a bit because I have so much darkness and this could be an absolute mess if I wasn't careful. There went my smuckers. She is just, she loves to do that little barking thing just at nothing. The next step is concealer. I have to have that corrector, but that helps me to only have to have a very minuscule amount of concealer. And today I'm using the Tar Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape. I never liked shape tape. It was always too drying, but this ultra creamy formula is really, really good. Now I will say that the doe foot is huge and this comes out way too much. So I'm going to take that same brush and I'm going to barely get any concealer on it because if I get more than that, it's just going to be too much for underneath my eyes. I cannot put heavy concealer underneath there. It just, it looks terrible and it doesn't work. So I'm going to dot it there and then I'm going to come over here and I dot it here and then I'm going to start to work it in. And what I find if I do it this way, the brush is going to help me pick up the concealer and it's going to distribute it or distribute distribute it. There we go. That's a better word. It's going to just look so much more natural. It's going to be so much prettier than if I did it with my finger. This brush to me is almost perfection. I just love it. So I'm going to leave that for just a second. And then actually I have to show you what I just got in PR. Oh my word. So Catrice, thank you Catrice for sending me out their full range of the new True Skin Concealer. First of all, this is a dang good concealer that lasts a very long time and they have such good range in their shades. I'm so proud of them because in the past they have just fallen short of that, but I thought, oh my goodness, they did it. They finally did it. I think that they have 12, which is, you know, it's not a huge selection, but boy, it's better than they've ever done before. It makes me happy to see an inclusive amount of concealer. And the very lightest one is what I'm going to try this new trick from Spencer by. So this is the very lightest color for the Catrice one. And I want to say it's called Natural Neutral Swan. You guys know I need my glasses usually, but I'm going to take that. I'm going to just barely get a tiny bit of it onto this brush, and then I'm going to see what I can do here. We know my hands have gone nuts so today, and I'm out of control, but maybe the shaking will help it blend a little bit better. We'll see. What he did was he went into here, right here, just this corner, this area right here, straight down, and he created this pocket of light. We're going to see if that's going to work today. I really want to see how this is going to do and how it will wear on me throughout the day. Because lots of times when I do too light of a, of a concealer, it makes you look like you're even darker or even you've got more sallow look in, that, in those corners. So I want to see if his trick is going to do me any good. I have it kind of patted in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my beauty sponge. And I'm just going to see what happens and whether or not this can bring a lot of light right there. I saw him do it on so many people and I thought it looked really beautiful, but I was like, ooh, I don't know because I have a lot of wrinkling underneath there and I don't, it's really pretty. It's really pretty in the viewfinder. I'm going to see if this camera will focus in. Can you see what kind of lightness it brings right there? I really like it. I think it's a great technique. Now you wouldn't want to bring it over here at all. You would want to stick with whatever concealer you already have on those parts. I think that's beautiful. I really do love that. All right, see this product right here, Charlotte Tilbury's 
uh, wand, her contour wand. This one is in light medium. I have told you guys over and over again that I am not someone that really goes in for the hype of Charlotte Tilbury, and I'm not. I feel like there are just as good, if not better, things out there, but this is one that I haven't found. Is any anything that I think is better than this, because this is a really light product, it's very liquidy, and it goes on the skin in such a way that it creates a beautiful contour and a bronzer combination, and it still makes your skin look like skin and it doesn't disrupt what's underneath i think that's beautiful about it as well i just found this real techniques angled brush i love this little fan it's really thin but it's a little fan brush so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to put this on but what's really exciting about me using this in today's video is that guess what i am able to bring a light medium and a medium deep one of these to two of you. So one of you is going to win the light medium and the other is going to win the medium dark shade of this in today's video. So I'm putting this in the middle because I want those of you that really like to watch my videos to be able to get this instead of it just being, oh, this is a giveaway video. I hit 75, I wanna say thank you because you guys, <laughs> you make my day. Everything for me has gone so well in this year and I'm so thankful for you So what I want you to do is down below make sure you either say light or dark on it Either one of these that you want. That's all you have to do and you have to be subscribed to me That's it. Leave a comment of anything you want to anything you want to say But make sure in the comment you say light or dark and I will know which one of these you want and Then you'll be notified from me in the comments. So Watch your emails if you can, because what's going to happen is once I reply, it will kick you over an email that will say that Mrs. Melissa M has replied to your comment on her video. So make sure that you do that. This will be announced probably in about 10 days or so. I'll announce the winner of who this is. I know that's not a lot, but I love that product. And I felt like I really wanted to give it away as something for you guys. So thank you again. So let's put it on so you can see what it's all about. Let's go up into the hairline to begin with. And it just goes on so prettily and it doesn't take a lot to really buff it in as a matter of fact it is so seamless that i've hardly even started it's going to go up into my hairline yes i do put it in my hair wash my hair every other day but i do put it into my hair because i have a very very high forehead and my high forehead has to have something like that in it in order to play with light and do the smoke and mirrors that we all feel like makeup needs to do for us right that's why we wear makeup is because we want to enhance what we have anyway i want to make sure that i tell you thank you so much for your support all of you that have been subscribed with me since the very beginning there's so many of you i can't begin to tell you how special you are to me most of you know that i do have my health challenges and you have replaced some of my friends that you know, you lose when you do have health challenges and you are at home and things don't go that great for you. And I just want to say thank you. You all are very, very important and very special to me. So thank you. Appreciate everything you do. I want to put on my city lips to be plumping my lips. This is so surprising and what it does for lips. Oh my goodness. From Juvia's Place, this is the Tribe Highlighter Volume 3. It's very light, but it's very glowy and I love it. We're putting this on before we put on any sort of blush. You know that that is one of my strategies as an aging woman. I love to put on highlighter long before I ever put on blush because it goes so well underneath the makeup and makes it look like you've got that lip from within look. And I do put on my Cupid's bow with my finger so it's a little bit more stark right there. <laughs> it looks really silly right now. And then I go down my nose a tiny bit, but I don't do the end of my nose. I don't do a lot of contouring or anything with my nose. This is the Jouer Blush and Bloom, and it is an uplift. And so I can't remember what is on each side, but it does tell you. So I want to show you how I use this. So the darker color is on one end, and I will take my stipple brush that I talked about very recently in Game Changing Products. I'm going to take my stipple brush, and then I'm just going to go across my hand just a tiny bit to re to take some of it off and i'm going to bring this blush down here so i'm going to stay down here with it as i go ahead and just do my blusher a bit here then turn it over it's got a lighter color here it's not got any shimmer it's matte 
but it's still so pretty and you could definitely wear this if you're a light-skinned gal you could definitely wear this as a you know lighter and darker blush you know how covergirl used to do that and they used to give it in those little pans we used to do our blush with the darker blush down here and then the lighter blush up top it's kind of the same concept this is so pretty look how beautiful that is since i'm talking about how i would completely perfect it which side would be better i just want to stop right now before i put anything else on and give you a close-up i definitely want you to see that I want you to see how each side looks. I personally am really loving the side that the Beauty Blender was on, but you might be really loving the side that has a little bit more coverage. This covered up a lot more of my blemishes on this side. So just kind of depends on whether you want more full or a little bit thinner, really, I think on this. From Kosas, have you guys all heard about this cloud set powder? I think I heard about it from Ally Glines. You no, know, normally on my Becca powder, I'm like, I'm the no powder powder girl. I really want to try the new Dior powder or the Dior powder that came out a while ago for that very reason. But I said I was going to have to set this site and I can already tell that I'm feeling a little bit warm today. So I probably will set it all over just a little bit. And yes, I am using my brush and I will lay the powder down with that. And then I'll tell you what I'm going to do after that. I'm going to go in with my sponge and I'm going to make sure this powder is really worked into my skin. All right, the powder's on, and I'm just going to go over. This is just the cleanest side I can find of my, my sponge. There's no makeup on there. And I'm just going over everything and tapping that in again. All the way around, let's make sure that everything looks good and cohesive. Charlotte Tilbury Airless Flawless Spr Setting Spray on the sponge. You have all been seeing me do this with my brush. I'm going back to the sponge for two reasons. Number one, it's easier on my skin. My skin has been super sensitive, and I just barely talked to you also about the micro exfoliating of a brush. And I have found that this is just doing better as it gets drier. One spray on the top of it, and then I'm just going to lay it all over, especially the parts where it gets the most break apart which is right in the middle and I'm gonna lay it down all the way around with a little bit that's left on there this has polymers in it that help to set your makeup and it just helps diffuse your makeup all right friends the finished look while I was off of camera I put some mascara on and my lips on the lips are just the nudist lip pencil from the Sephora collection their gel rouge lip liners and then a Milani gloss over top of it very simple I slicked my hair down and put some nice jewelry on which I pretty I'm pretty sure I can link all of those for you and while I was doing that it got super dark outside the the sun went behind a bunch of clouds and it is black out there. I think it's going to rain. So I'm pretty sure that's why everything back here has kind of changed and made, you know, look a little bit different even on my complexion. So that's it for today's video. I hope that you did, did like it. Please tell me which side that you like the best and what you think about this look. Also the new techniques that I showed you in here. I'm really excited to bring those to you. I hope you are all doing well. Thank you for sticking with me for such a long video. I know that this was longer, but it was very in-depth and I hope that you did enjoy it. Please give it a thumbs up on your way out of here. I love you guys so very much. Don't forget about the giveaway and hopefully we will all meet back here at the next video that I have. <laughs> Take care of yourselves. Love you much. Bye-bye. What's the deal? I think that you just want to be the center of attention all the time. Yeah? Is that it? Why don't you go and help your sister? Come here, Pat. Oh my goodness. One good pudge deserves another. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the whole family's coming. Yes, we are.